Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part six of my new series of tricks for the beginner, or just really just telling what the tools to do. And we, if you didn't watch them all, you really need to watch them all if you're a beginner. But we've already gone over the pick tool, the shape tool, the crop tool, the magnifying glass, the line, and the artistic media tool. So the two tools that we're going to do today are the rectangle tool. So just click on it and you can draw a rectangle. You can draw it any shape you want. If you hold down the control button while you're drawing it, it'll draw it in a perfect square. If you look, it's 1013 by, or 10.13. Now, if you have your ratio locked, you can change it here and make that a perfect 12 if you want. If you don't have it locked and you change one to 14, it's gonna go 14 to 12. So that's pretty cool. So let's just start over and let's get another rectangle. And let's round off the corners when you have a, it picked and you can also lock the edit corner or not. This is showing you it's the top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So with it locked and we were to round them off, let's say a half of an inch. So now I've got rounded corners. Now you don't have to do that if you'll just grab it with your shape tool, you can round off the corners, but you don't know really what it, you know, what uh, radius it is like that. I mean, it's going to show you, and then you could change it to, let's change it to two. And now we've got two inch radiuses. That's pretty cool. Now, while we're here, and I'm talking about the control button to make it square, if you use the shift key, you can make it smaller or bigger equally growing like from the center. It's already, you know, square, so it's gonna remain square with the shift key. Now, what also is good about this, you can make a duplicate of it or start another one holding down and let's go right on that edge or let's go on this edge, holding down the shift and the control button it's going to make it grow from the center of that point, no matter which way you put your mouse. If you just hold down the shift, you're going to grow from the center, but you're not going to be a rectangle, and you can always hit the control button, and it'll go square. You can do that from the middle. You know, we want to square right in the middle of that. The shift and the control button are really pretty important when you're drawing boxes like that. I do it all the time, and you can do it with almost anything. You know, grow anything. We're going to get on the lips now. Well, while we're here, let's just talk about the three-point rectangle. I don't ever use it, but it kind of gives you, you can put it at an angle. You can start at an angle, whatever angle you want, and then go out and make a rectangle. It's no big deal because you can rotate that rectangle up here in your rotation box. All right, now we're gonna to go to the lips tool. The lips, same thing, hold down the control. I didn't get the ellipse. I got the three-point ellipse. Hold down the control button and you get a perfect ellipse. Don't hold it down and you can make rectangles or elongated circles or whatever you want. But it's the same thing if you want that larger, but that same shape, and hit one of these four corner nodes and hold down the shift key, that is gonna grow from the inside out. Pretty cool. Same thing with the shift and the control button. If you want a, like the perfect circle and we want another circle from that quadrant, you can just go from that quadrant and draw perfect circles. See the quadrant versus the edge. There's an edge, there's a quadrant. Pretty cool what you can do with that. Now, the next thing is the three-point ellipse, which is, I've never used it, but you can change and kind of make it look like it's offset. And while we're here, we're talking about the ellipse tool. You can draw an ellipse, and then you can change it. You can make it a pie chart, and you can change that up here by making this 270 and make this zero, and it'll move that pie, it'll opposite 
See, this is taking it out, and that's adding it. So let's just make it zero, and it's going to be like that, but let's make it 90 degrees, and you get that part of a pie chart. And you can change the direction, you know, up here, do whatever you want to want. Uh, this is a pretty cool uh, thing that I use a lot. If we want a arc, taken out, and this is where you can change that arc by adding to the arc. Let's make it, let's make it 350, which is almost closed, and you can see there's a gap there. Pretty important tool there. Um, it's just an arc. So you could start it out at, uh, let's say 180 degrees, and draw it, and when you draw with your lips, well, it should take off. But there's, let's go 180 degrees. So now you've got a half of a circle. You can do a lot with a half of a circle. Uh, hit the plus key on your keyboard, hold down the control button and grab this node right here, and then mirror that guy the other way. Well, didn't really need to do that, just join those two nodes. And then combine those two lines, go up to object and combine. And now that's one line that would be pretty hard to draw anywhere else. And that's a that's a pretty neat thing to be able to do. I shouldn't have deleted that one. Let's delete, delete everything else but that line. And what you can do with something like that, let's go ahead and just move this out of the way for a second. You can hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's make it a little thicker. So you can hit F12 in your keyboard. Uh, make it, let's make it a quarter of an inch with uh, rounded end caps and hit OK. So now you've got rounded end caps on your line. And let's just keep going. You can actually go up here and go to object, convert that outline to an object. It is an outline, now it's an object. I'm going to left click, right click, and now I've got two hairlines. Hit P, make sure it's in the center page. Control D and rotate it. Let's rotate it 45 degrees. Control D, Control D. And you've got start of a flower. And then you could take the whole thing and weld it. And now you've got one piece. Anyway, I hope that's helping a little bit. Thank you for watching.